there YouTube Madam Roy back again back to you with another uh, pickups video uh, I went down to uh, Virginia Beach today uh, specifically I went off of uh, Little Creek Road because we had to drop my aunt off the airport and we had a little extra time before we had to get back so uh, mom and I decided to hit up some of the thrift stores and uh, I found a few items so without further ado let's get started I guess this time I can start off with the biggest find. This is a Dell 20-inch uh, LCD monitor. I, you know, on the face of it, it doesn't look like anything special. It kind of looks like your typical, everyday run-of-the-mill LCD monitor. Until we look at the back here. First of all, it has one of these adjustable uh, stands. In other words, this monitor can actually adjust up all the way like this and it can go down as well which I really like because if you have a very low desk you need that height for the monitor to uh, be at the right level for you to see it now the real magic comes when you look underneath now I'll start with the side here as you can see it has two USB 2.0 ports uh, being from 2006 these would be 2.0 ports now if you look under here Again, this is where the real magic happens. You can see right here we have uh, USB. This is actually the USB port that goes to the desktop. And that allows you to use the uh, ports on the side here. It's basically an extension cable. You also have two more USB 2.0 ports here. Uh, a speaker power. Now this was for the optional sound bar that would attach right here and right over here and you would, it would actually sit underneath this monitor. Now this one did not come with it, I just have to assume that uh, the person that bought it probably didn't want it for whatever reason or they took it off before they donated it. We have your standard DVI cable which is plugged in. We have the VGA right there or D sub and this is where it gets kind of interesting. As you can see here we have a composite video in and S video in. So this can actually be used as a TV. Granted, it doesn't have built in speakers, but you could actually plug in a, a TV that either has the composite or, v, or uh, S video plugs and use external speakers with this monitor. So it's pretty versatile for what it is. And I gave a whopping $6.98. So very pleased with this find. They said they, the lady told me they had just put it out. And as you can see on there, it, ha it was manufactured in November of 2006. That's interesting too. Remember this, guys. This is why you always want to dispose of your monitors properly. See, it says, uh, lamps contain mercury. That is our NOAA weather radio. We are about to have some bad weather, so uh, I'll go ahead and pause this until that's done. All right, luckily the uh, warning was not for our area, so back to the finds. Um, again, this was really, really cool, and I may actually do a video, a separate video on this if I think it warrants it. Let's go ahead and move on to the goodies in the bag. First and foremost, for $1.98, well, that's what it was, was originally $1.98. They moved it down to $0.99, cents and then all the way down to $0.75. Cents. I picked up five, uh, these are eight millimeter tapes. Now five of them are, I'm sorry, yeah, four of them are Sony branded standard quality eight millimeter tapes. And the other one is a JVC uh, high performance tape. I don't believe that any of them are high eight tapes, but they will work just fine in the uh, Sony handy cams anyway. So yeah. I can't complain for 75 cents. I pi also picked up another pack of these uh, CDs. Now I'm not going to go through each one of these because I think that gets boring, but I will show you what they are. Um, i got to turn it this way. On the bottom here I have uh, the soundtrack to Tin Cup. Above that is um, Paul Winter. It is uh, opposite, so uh, I'll read it off to you guys. We have Jessica Simpson, Sweet Kisses. I've never heard of that, but seems interesting. 
Uh, John Michael Montgomery, that's one of the main reasons I picked this up. This is his Pictures album. And finally, Moods and Moments, and that's from Wayne Newton. And I figured for 25 cents, that was a good deal for uh, five CDs. Next, I picked up a two-pack of these KMC uh, Normal Bias 90-minute uh, tapes. Buy two and save. And guess what? We're getting interrupted again. Ah! <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I have that anyway. The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northampton County, Virginia, until 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time at 7.06 p.m. Eastern Okay, again, it was not for our area, and I have since shut the radio off because uh, I'm starting to get very annoyed with it. <laughs> But let's get back to this. Um, this is from Kmart. Uh, I have no idea what year it's from. If I had to guess, I would say the late 80s, maybe early 90s. Um, you can read back here. It says, precision molded shell for high impact plastic provides long life and durable performance under all conditions. Yeah, we'll have to see about that one. Steel axle pins and flanged rollers provide perfect tape alignment and reduce wear. Lubricated bubble liner foils Ensure smooth tape pack and pack winding reduces noise and friction. So, uh, yeah, basically it's saying everything it can to make it seem like these are really high quality tapes. But, I mean, I can look and see they're not the greatest. But I figured two of these for 99 cents and it's something I've never heard of before. The time to buy it is when you see it. And we have a couple other things in here. I also got two of these Sony high grade uh, tapes. These are these are high 8 tapes, but I had to look closely. You see where it says high packing? Basically, even though these say they're standard 8mm tapes, in a high 8 camcorders, these will actually work like high 8 tapes because it is made of the same uh, material. Um, if you look on back here, it says 12% picture quality improvement over standard medical metal particle, which is what the normal 8mm tapes are made out of. So, again, this works almost identical to the Hi8 tapes, even though technically they're still uh, standard 8mm tapes. And, of course, these in here are the lower quality tapes. They're just the standard ones. But in my... Uh, in my research, they've actually done pretty well. They both uh, perform very well in, in real life scenarios. And the very last thing I got today is this Sony Video 8 or Hi8 uh, head cleaning tape. And I'm really happy to have this because up until now with my uh, uh, DCR TRV 280s, I've actually had to just rely on isopropyl alcohol and q-tips to clean the heads and that's really not the best way to do it because if you, unless you're very very careful you can damage something so I will be trying this out and uh, I'll give you my thoughts on how well this works so this is my pickups for today guys hope you enjoyed this video and the few interruptions from my NOAA weather radio over there please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day everybody